thanks for joining me again. Episode 20 of the Coffee Van Conversion. Today's episode is all about these cupboards, putting in the aluminium framework and getting it nice, solid, ready for the, the trimming and the tops going in. Also, we've got a build inside the cupboard for the water tanks, the frame. So I'm starting over here in this corner. This is now the finished product pretty much, but we're gonna go right back inside the cupboard and start with the framework. Right at the back there, I'm gonna start by putting in the stanchions. Let's get on with it. That's cracked it, isn't it? Crack what? Brilliant. You need to follow the previous videos to see where we are at the moment. So if you haven't, just here drop back to the previous one episode, one. otherwise I'm just talking to myself. You get the gist of it though, what I'm doing here. Putting these stanchions in and creating the corner of this cupboard. It's been a long day, it's dark outside, I'm working under the floodlights. But you've got to get this job done. You know, I'm running behind. I've got to just crack on and try and get it finished. I love this aluminium though. It's beautiful to work with and it really does a nice job. Yeah, get it squared up. You can see that run straight down the line now. I'm happy with that so we can get this all fixed to the floor and we'll get these stanchions riveted in. I've just cut these little L brackets there, riveting it all together. Get the over out, keep it tidy. Oh, he likes his square, he likes his square. Got to make sure it's all nice. Another little bracket. Oh, that Milwaukee rivet gun, what a bit of kit. Beautiful. You said it. Can't get enough of that. Oh, yeah, look at the strength in that now. Solid as a rock. And don't forget, this is all going to be panelled as well. So it's going to be even stronger. Right, so we're starting on this cupboard now. We've got, I've got my square there. I can square off from the wheel arch and get this line in here. So we know that's right there. We'll cut this off for the front line. The jobs are good. In. Let's get on the saw. Yeah, straight down to the elo. Lovely bit of kit, little cross cut. Makes a nice job. Okay, so that one's going in there. Nice. And then we need one along the front. As well as that side. So I think we'll go for that side first and then put one in the middle. So we'll do the same again, square it off this back line. And we're taking it off just to there. And we just need the one in the middle, running between the two. So when we're working on this saw, we've got a piece of metal there, we need it tight up to the back, pull the guard up and you can see the teeth on the blade and we can actually bring that down to the line withdrawn and we can see there that's where it's going to cut. So hold it all in place, part of it. absolutely beautiful we've got that all in we can just pop some marker holes in the bottom of that and um, brace it to the floor we'll just decide where we're gonna have some holes I think we need one one about there so we'll go for three down that side two three there like that and then same with this one we'll have one in there two Three, four, and possibly one, five. And then we'll have some of that one as well. Okay. 
Okay, let's get this drilled. Oh, don't try me a cat by you. I'm never going to need it, you better. You better have a dog to the floor. We'll soon lose these down there, look. Holes drilled. Need them holes big enough to get that screwdriver through. Yeah, let's get back in back in the van again. We've got this little one there. Let's screw straight in. Yeah. Just makes light work of it. Try and make sure it's squared up again. Right, so we're just going to make some little angle noggings for um, holding the, the, the uprights, the stanchions all in place. So I've got some angle here and that's the boxing that we're cutting to. So once that's in place there, I've just put a mark on that, lined it up to where the blade's going to come, come in and cut. And then I've just run a little marker on the back of the blade there. So now I can just knock these off, bang, 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 bang. So let's do... Um, I'll go for about eight of them, I think, to start with. Watch your fingers. Ah, put straight like butter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll just rub these up, get them uh, tied up a little bit, drill the holes in them, and they'll be ready to fit. Just give him a quick going over with this little Milwaukee sander polisher. Got a nice grip disc in there. Takes all them sharps off it, finishes it off nice. We've got a few of them to do and all, haven't we? Oh, here we go. <laughs> really whiz. Look at him go. Yeah, drill them up as well. Get them all drilled through on my little workbench there. What a bit of kit. Right, let's mock up some more of these frames. We need 89.4. it. This is the 30 mil box section. And we'll just whisk through that. Get them all off nice. Four little beauties. Two little beauties. <laughs> Four to go in. Let's have a look. Using them little L brackets we've just made, we can drill and fix them all together. Got these lovely stainless steel rivets as well, which are super yeah, solid. Beautiful. Clamp it, drill it, rivet it. Just keep on going till we get where we want to be. Lovely. Same with the other side. I have to say though, the day I'd see another river, it'll be the day I die. <laughs> Once this is finished, I don't want to. I don't even want to look at a river. <laughs> <laughs> Moving, I'd have to mark that knife. Let's mark that up. Let's go 95.4 with my pencil. Well, where's my pencil gone? So, oh, the amount of times I have these moments of where's my pencil, where's my tape measure, where's my square, where's my drill? Walking around the circles trying to find bits of kit that are right under my nose. Always happens about three o'clock in the afternoon. Right, so now what we're going to do is put some beams or battens across from this edge to the uh, the flap side. Now, let's get that done. That will stiffen it all up, make it really strong and nice. Right, so I've got my pieces. These are the sixty centimeter ones that are going to go from the the body there. What I've got to do is just take the back out of them so that they sit down low. But we've got a little lip there to rivet to the base of the van. Hang on a minute. Don't that look a little bit here. big? That looks a bit big to me, that does. 
Yeah, I think it's a bit big. Oi, it's a bit big. I've had horrible feet. I've done these all too long. Because I've not took into account that. <laughs> uh, I have as well. I've got to take off 30 mil on all of them. Schoolboy error. <laughs> right, they're all the right size now. <laughs> So all I can do, I can take the end out of that like I, like I wanted to. So, yeah, here we go, that's better. That's coming to there, like that. And then we'll have just a piece out the back there, enough to, we'll take a piece out the back of those and leave the top bit in. So we'll remove that section there and then we'll have a lip there to rivet through into the bodywork. Hacksaw, let's get on with it. Love this tool, here we go. We'll just whip that straight down there and straight down the end to make these nice little adapters, if you like, so they can bolt, up, well, rivet to the side of the van. Yeah, just whip through them, but what a bit of care. That's three of them, just need to pop some holes through in the right place. Right, let's go with this then. So this first one is gonna sit on here. I think what I need to do is just fasten fasten this to the uh, to this frame to start with. Oh, just so much faffing about. There's so much, so many little things. You just wanna do it, you just wanna get it on there and then you think, oh, hang on a minute. I better do that first. I better rivet that to that and yeah. There's always something to do before you can just rivet it on. <laughs> But we want it to be nice, we want it to be strong, so we've got to do it right. Now we can get this lined up dead the same. Oh, yeah. oh all of a sudden everything becomes rigid. That is absolutely solid, solid as a rock now. Let's continue. This is the one that's gonna make all the difference. A bit of strength down that side of that stanchion there to hold it to the side of the van and it's just gonna pull everything together. This is the one. Oh yes, yeah, better make sure it's square. Don't wanna forget that bit. We don't want a wonky cupboard. <laughs> Here we go, this is the one, get this one in here and all of a sudden it looks absolutely square and solid. He's going to be excited. A jazz, solid, solid as a rock. Beautiful. One final check on that, make sure we're square. Nice, very nice. Yeah, everything's looking good. Right, and then the final one. Have you done another hour? What have you done there? That looks a bit short, that one does. What have you done? Oh no. Silence in the workshop. Something's gone wrong. <laughs> what are you looking for? <laughs> Look at the panic on his face. You can't even go, oh, what have we got here? Something's going on. There we go. That looks better. <laughs> So my misjudgment there, I've had to make another one of these stacks that goes across because this original one, when I put it in, I did them all the same length thinking everything was square. But as it turns out, the actual outer side of the van bows out, which I didn't remember when I put the, the snail hinge in, we had the same problem at the top. Um, so anyway, this one now is just a fraction too short. So that one's out. I'm room with a fresh one that is the right length that we can now boff that in. So yeah, little things like, yeah, the run out on the side of the van, it, it, it's not a problem, but it just makes things a bit more difficult. We have got quite a bit to play with with the worktop because we're, we've got this aluminium trim that sits on the top of that, so it's gonna hide any uh, little unforgiving bits on the, uh, on the edge there. But yeah, let's get this one in. Bit 
So, back to that a little bit more now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Solid as a rock. That's delightful, that is. That's really beef that all up. Finish that off, get the Uber in, Mrs. Mock, clean it up, and then we can just check how square it is just to be 100% that we are where we need to be. Well, I'm happy with that. Bingo Loodle. Beautiful. Whew. Right, so we're in the cupboard. This is where the water tanks are going to sit. So we need a double. One tank's going to sit up the top, one tank's going to sit down the bottom. I've cut some bits of single, um, sorry, not single, smaller box section. This is the, uh, I think this is... 20 mil. It's 20 mil. Oh, it's actually. The other it's, 30. It's 20 mil. This is... Um, 20 mil. <laughs> it's 20. Oh, this is 20. <laughs> so it's a 20 millimetre box. Um, we've got some angle that we've cut up. And what the plan is, is to put on top of this wheel arch here with three sections of that. I'm going to put the angle plate below, bang that all together so it's like a nice cradle. Like, like that. Can you see how that's all looking there? And then we'll, we'll line that as well. We'll plate that on the top. Um, with an angle on the side here to stop the tank from sliding sideways. So all that's left on this one is to rivet these two angles in place. We'll do that outside, then bring it all in uh, once, we're, once we're done. So I've had to make another trip down to the uh, Phoenix Aluminium there, down in Narborough in Leicester, get myself some more metal. <laughs> Got to keep stocked up. And we can bang this together, again, drilling all through, making this cradle up using these stainless steel rivets. These are four mil rivets, they're really strong and nice. This is gonna have a bit of weight on it. So it's gonna be a good sturdy, uh, a good sturdy build. Nice. Wow, look at that, what a drink. That's lovely, isn't it? What a great cradle. Big question is though, is it gonna fit? Oh, it's tight. Oh, there we go. You didn't doubt me, did you? You didn't doubt me measuring. Beautiful. We'll put some seam sealant underneath these ones that are touching the wheel arch, so we haven't got to drill through it. We can fix it to the frame, and that will be solid then. Ready to put a panel on the top with the water tank. Fix in there, be great stuff. Wonderful. I'm going to have to call it a night soon though, because I'm drilling and the neighbours are going to be complaining about all the noise I'm making. This room from here, let's have some of this gunk on it. good base to work from that is so the water tanks will go that one will go up there into place just need a bit of a frame around the side as if by magic a sheet of metal appears look at that perfect cut to size could you believe it all we need to do is just get that drilled and rivet into place Work his way around that. That's oh yeah, job in the town, absolutely wonderful. Oh, I'll stand back and admire that. I think that looks beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed that one. 
the framework is all started down the front. We've got the main structure in. The water tank framework again is all started and is all there. Join me in the next one. We'll finish all that cupboard off. We'll get that all nicely supported for the water tanks and uh, you'll get cracking on with some of the other building of the interior. I hope you've enjoyed it. I love your comments. Drop me some comments in. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.